All right. Welcome into this case study interview with the amazing Derek Nolte. Derek, it has been really fun to work together on your business. And gosh, I was trying to think back to, to how long we've been working together. We're, we're approaching probably seven or eight months now. I know it was kind of early at the end of last year. So now it's reaching back a little bit as we're going to talk about what the journey was like before you worked with us in CEO Finance Academy, kind of what it's like and, and what you feel like you've gotten out of it. But will you just give us a quick intro to what your business is, kind of how you got to where you're at and what it is that you guys do? Absolutely. Thank you, Alex. So we are a property management business. We are located in the upper Midwest in the United States, and we manage about a thousand rentals. So we have a team of 20 people and they do everything from collect rent, show apartments, repair stuff and clean stuff. We do it all. Yeah. And so you run a fairly complex machine, right? You've got a lot of moving parts in the business. 20 team members is a lot to keep track of. And there's a lot of financial moving parts. In fact, as we got into your books, you had some of the most detailed books uh, of anyone that I've seen, which you've done a great job getting set up to that level of detail. It's amazing the insights that we get from that. But I'm curious, so with that context, what were some of the financial concerns that you had in the business before we worked together? Absolutely. You know, and it's it's interesting because this is the first business I've been a part of as a founder. So I started this business on my own. And so I learned a lot. I learn a lot. I've learned a lot. I failed a lot and we've had some success. But, you know, you the adage that you don't know what you don't know really hits home with me on a regular base, basis as a business owner because I'm learning new stuff every day. My point being is I did not know we had complex books. I still don't think we have very complex books because it's really just what I know. But talking to other people in under, other industries, having meetings with you, I learn a lot. And I've learned that we have a lot more nuances than I really thought we did. And so I'm not a numbers guy and I'm not a details guy. And so after it's typical slap in the face. You know, at some point I got slapped in the face by our finances and it was a big, scary, ugly wake up call. And so I went down the path of, I accepted the fact that I'm not good enough to do what I need to get done. So I looked for outside help. And honestly, um, it's just Will's beautiful face that sucked me into one of your Facebook ads and, and we, we went for it. So it's, uh, you know, the, the bookkeeping, the, the complexity of it is still something I try to understand. But the reason I started was because we had some scary situations financially that we were worried about how we were going to get through it. Yeah. I'm curious. You mentioned seeing Will, who's my business partner, his beautiful face on the ads. What, uh, as construction's happening outside, what was the thought process for you as you were looking at on considering buying something that's not cheap from some guys on Facebook. I'm curious, what was that? I'm mostly curious for myself, but what was going through your head when you were deciding whether or not you were going to do that? You know, it really, I do feel that it was a true just marketing success. It was an ad that I saw. And at that time I was in the mindset that I was stressing about money. It really, it, I think it comes down as simply as that, you know, and, the the final decision anyway i guess after our initial meeting the reason for me personally is just it was the connection you know when i meet i met with several people that that had whatever you want to call it you know business coaching profit coaching um you know financial coaching it was it's the the feeling of relationship so i have to connect with somebody for me to work with somebody on a level like this and so luckily i chose correctly in my mind because i feel like we've hit it off really well from the get go and that was important to me because for a topic that i feel like i'm not good at and that i don't like i need somebody that i'm going to get along well with to succeed yeah we we have had fun on our calls and that's actually a big part of our vetting process is would we want to sit down with this person over lunch and would we enjoy ourselves? And it's been so enjoyable working with you. Can you paint the picture of what the process has been like as we've gone through this together? Someone's like, okay, what, what do we actually do? What are the things that, you know, what, what is it like if you're described to someone, what's it like working in CEO Finance Academy? How would you describe it? Oh boy. Um, usually what I find myself is watching and I'm, 
promise I'm not a paid actor, but like, you know, watching you show me the behind the curtain, the stuff that I have no idea what you're talking about and explaining to me. Um, I'm a visual guy and I'm a one-on-one -on -one guy. So our regular meetings are important to me. Um, training videos, the stuff that's there that I can do on my own when it comes is great. But for me, the core focus is these one-on-one -on -one Zooms, um, which the cadence for that is important as well. Um, you know, I'm somebody that needs top of mind to keep the cadence going. And so for me, it's been a good mixture of you showing me the magic, you explaining the magic, and then I get to play with it a little bit. And that cadence works well for me. Talk to me about some of the insights that you've gotten. If you can hear over the construction noise, talk to me about the insights that you feel like you've gotten about the business from what we've done together. Yeah. And by the way, the construction is, is silent. So you have a good, you have a good mic. <laughs> um, the, uh, one more time, I distracted myself with that comment. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, what do you feel like you've actually gotten out of us working together ultimately? What, what have been insights or progress that you feel like has been made in the business as a result? The biggest thing for me, so the absolute biggest thing for me, and you've changed it a little bit and you're improving it, but the clarity on here's your profit for the business and here's where it should go. And, and having the help and the team and the assistance to be shown and explained why this money goes in this bucket and why it's there, how long it should stay there and what you do with it. The, the details like that for me, um, it's really the only way I can do it. So for me, that's why. And also I, be, I want to mention too, um, you know, all of our calls are recorded and that's a big deal as well. Because that reference, even though, um, you know, you have a lot of one hour recordings, but I'm going to have those. And those are things that have some gold in them that I'll be able to go back to. So that's a big deal for me too. Yeah. Thank you for the kind words, by the way. I, I would love to know if someone were to walk up to you, maybe they're even in a property management business and they say, what is the ROI here? Like, what do I actually get out of doing this? How would you quantify the ROI for yourself? And I, I don't want to be dramatic and I don't want to sound dramatic, but I truly believe that there is a good chance that the ROI is either being in business or not being in business for me. Um, take it for what it is, but that is a realistic ROI potential for me. And you know that we're seeing some of the benefits of this program as we speak, like we're really in it right now. So it is really exciting for me. But I see the ROI is what we've done in the last eight months. What about 18 months from here? Like, what's that ROI going to look like? And so for me, that's, it's endless. Yeah, I remember still this one email that you sent after one of our calls when we were looking at your job costing and deciding, hey, you might have been underpricing your, your uh, maintenance work for a little while. And you sent out one email and we were looking at, hey, what's, what's the, the financial value of making that change to the business. And now we get to start seeing those hit the books and it's like, okay, yeah, things are, things are moving along. And so it's, we, I personally just love this process of how can we find clarity on what's really happening in the business? What do we need to change in profit margins? And then how do we manage cash? And you're approaching a point where, you know, we we're, were just talking off camera beforehand that the next six months for you, uh, you're going to be in a very different spot in your business. And it's so rewarding to see those changes having been passed through. And you're right. A lot of times for, for owners, it's like, hey, not, not understanding this stuff might actually be the difference between staying in business or not. And I'm just, I'm super proud of you as a colleague, but as, as a client too, that man, you've, you've taken so much action through this whole thing. And so that's the last question I want to take uh, here. Let's talk time commitment for just a minute. Cause that's one of the bigger things that people feel like, I don't know if I can afford time to sit and look at the finances. Will you just talk to me about that and how you've been able to carve out time to do this? Because you've been such an implementer of everything that we've gone through. How have you found or made the time to make this stuff a priority? You know, it's interesting that you brought that up because uh, a, a, another colleague of mine said the other day, you know, and I don't know him super well, but he's like, you 
you need to know how things work, right? I'm like, yeah, you know, that's that's just my, that's who I am. And through this process, actually, being a business owner and going through your program, a lot of self-reflection, self-discovery, self-growth, that's big for me. I'm in, I'm in that mode as well on the personal side. And so, you know, the the realization of how stupid it sounds like I don't have time for that. How, cause I hear it now. It sounds stupid when I, when I hear it from other people, um, you know, and I was fortunate enough to realize the implications of not doing something, whether it was with you guys or with somebody else, there was enough risky thoughts that things would go very bad if I didn't make a strong move. And, and that's what I did. So really, you know, everyone's different. Everybody has the level of severity and the level of importance, but with something like business financials, it just, it's far too important to me, you know, and, and for being somebody who's not good at it, I needed to know how it works because I am hopeful that one day it won't be me, but I still need to know how it works as the business owner. It's important to me for the most part to know how things operate. And that's just who I am. Yeah, I really respect how you've taken ownership over something that you've stated has been a weakness for you. Mm-hmm. And you don't feel like you're a numbers guy. And yet at the same time, as we've gotten into the analysis of the business, I'm constantly amazed by you saying, oh, no, I pulled these numbers together. I pulled this up. I've been tracking this. I've been tracking that. And I, I think you don't give yourself enough credit, man. Uh, sure. You are very humble in your business growth and what you've done, but you've very consistently grown over time. And it's been fun now to see, okay, how can we make the profitability start hitting as you've kept growing. And uh, it's so fun the last couple of months to just see those numbers. Like, all right, we're getting into the groove. All right. We're getting there. (laughs) I love it. Good stuff, Derek. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day, man, to, uh, to give people an insight into this. And, uh, and it's just been a total blast working with you. We keep looking forward to it. Thank you so much, my man. Super happy to do it, Alex.